Yo. As yeah. Um. Just doing another 25 minutes because I did 20 minutes and um, I had to stop because I got a messenger and um, yeah, I'm going to carry on. She said new market. Oh, new market. Yeah. So she said, oh, she's happy she got out of the village, got to new market. That's good. Yeah. Well, I've had a slice of bread to eat and a bit of soup. Which is probably, like, the second half of my breakfast. At fucking... Ooh. At 2... Whatever it is, 2.32 or whatever. You know. I've got to... I've got to relax. I can't, I can't not do. Um... I'm thinking about that bird trying to entrap me. But now I know the trick. I know the trick they do. I've caught them out. I've caught them out. I know they do that. You know, try to catch me out with a little video camera. <clears throat> and she was explain, you know, she was explaining her shit to me. You know, she was explaining how um, one of her officers had to go off to Whizbeach or March or Whizbeach or somewhere. You know, and oh, I can't remember his name. PC Thomas was like off out doing something. It's funny how they said he was on a job, like how robbers say they're on a job, you know what I mean? Or bank robbers or... Well, robbers, robbers, robbers is a robber. You know, on a job. He said he was on a job. Um, and she was saying, like, so much work and, like, there's nobody to do it. And it's, it's supposed to be the end of, of austerity, apparently. The end of austerity. It's it's been ten years. Let's face it, it's been ten years. Uh, they can stop squeezing the poor. You know, taking away our libraries and our citizen advice centres and our police force. You know, they can stop taking those things away because they don't cost that much. You know, and people want them. If people want them. People vote, don't they? But the only trust they have with voting is whether which party to lead us. You know, with voting, you know, people would want the fucking libraries and shit open, but they would. They do. I fucking know they do. They want the libraries open. But, um, yeah. Oh. <sighs> It's what I'm thinking right now. This girl um, at Reading University, she she said, I've got so many people in me. You know? I'm trying to think, was it fun or not? You know, did I enjoy it? I remember, I remember when my mum left, you know, I got this terrible feeling, you know, this terrible feeling came over me, like, of abandonment and loneliness, you know, I just, it crushed me, you know, the moment she left, my happy feelings just went, they just went. And I was all alone and just, oh, it was horrible. 
you know, it was. But I got over it. And that's... That's what happens when I lose someone. Every time. Every time I lose someone, I fall to pieces. I do. I'll be seeing her in an hour and a half. Well, seeing her, phoning her, you know, whatever. I'm not giving no more money away to, like, a certain demographic. I'm not. I'm not. I'm done. All my senses were telling me, all of them were telling me, um, kick off at the fucking police station, you know. And in um, Greg's as well, they were saying, kick off, you know. And there was only playing fucking Black Eyed Peas that says, uh, smash, it, smash it up like, oh my God. You know what I mean? Right, right in the wrong fucking place for me, you know what I mean? Fucking hell. That's too close. I reckon I don't look that good that close. Hmm. <clears throat> I know it's this stage where, like, nobody seemed attractive. Weird. I guess. I'm kind of confused to the Bible because it doesn't say anywhere in it that thou shalt rest on a Sunday. It doesn't say that it's... It doesn't. It in nowhere in there says that. Nowhere. So I can completely forget that, you know. What I was going to say was... Um, yeah, but I won't, won't go there. There's no need to rest on a Sunday. I don't know why my washing machine rocks from side to side when it's spinning, you know. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, mukbang. I just eat my fucking soup. It's not very nice. So, um, I don't know. Have some more. Um, I'm thinking about sex, sex itself, you know, my experience of it, so I've been told, is like lacking because I need to do it like 10 or 20 times before it gets good. And I've heard that before. 
on a film. You know that girl out of, um... Oh, fuck. I can't remember, you know. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it. Veronica Mars. She was in this film, you know. And she says, like, it gets good. You know, how was it? He said, it was all right. And he says, it gets good, but it gets better. You know. If I do that whole can of soup, that'd be Parker. I want to look after myself, you know. It's funny because I know I'm ill. You know, I'm not talking about mentally ill. I'm talking about um, physical illness, you know, um, I had the flu jab about two weeks ago, and it's seriously knocked me on my ass, you know, it's fucking horrible, fucking horrible, I, the emotions that are coming up are just unbelievable, so intense, so intense, I just can't deal, you know, and when I get ill, I get, my mental illness kicks in, I'm not schizoaffective, I'm schizophrenic, but I get the mania. When I'm ill, I get the mania. I had this infection from my leg because it's all scar tissue and before it, before it healed up, massive fucking wound, really massive. Before it healed up, you know. Um, yeah. I got an infection in it and it made me go crazy and um, pre pretty crazy like I feel right now. No, no, it, was, it wasn't like, it wasn't, it wasn't that kind of energy. I mean, now is okay. I can deal. And um, I was so grateful that I didn't take a clonazepam. You know, I was, I had it in my hand and I had a bottle of water, but... I thought, right, now I've got it. I mean, I went and bought this bottle of water, yeah. I said to myself, now I've got this bottle of water. You know I'm okay, I'm relaxed. If I need to take it, I've got water now to take it. You know, that relaxed me enough to, like, not need the actual tablet. Yeah. I can't believe I've lost someone. Can't believe it. She'll never, never call me again. She'll never call me again. Oh, actually, I've lost two people. Two people who really I never had because I always, I always had to stay away from them. You know, I had to stay away from them because they were using me. I could only see them sort of like every every time I went over there to give them money, I'd stay for a few hours. Yeah. She has post-traumatic stress disorder then. I was fighting with the police officer I saw in the um, police station today. Weird. <sighs> I'm just thinking how my anger always comes out when I need it. Always comes out when I need it. And I'm asking myself, what do I need it for? To get arrested and sent to the Cavell Centre. I don't see how that... This necklace is coming undone. I don't see how that could do me any good. You know?
That's like a two hour wash. I don't know if you can hear it spinning away in there. Two hour wash. You know, I was just coming from a place where like, I had to just tell people to fuck off. You know. They were fucking smothering me with all their bullshit. Just smothering me with their... And, um... I'm thinking about when... I was... I was told I was self-regulating. People will sort of discipline me when I get out of hand they will discipline me you know and I'm aware enough to know the difference between when someone's having a go at me and when someone thinks that when someone says something real you know I know the difference Because at the end of the day, it's not about them. It's about me. If I'm getting myself too, too all stressed out, then um, that's about me. It's about me keeping balance. Keeping balance in my emotions. And um, this meditation thing is quite interesting because... Um, This meditation thing is quite interesting because because of that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that like I could do it when I'm like walking around the streets and actually with people. Uh, I kind of thought that it was something that you did on your own. But I can't do it when I'm on my own. I just can't. I in no way can just sit still for like, I can't because it's the side effects to my medication. I just can't sit still and do nothing. I can't. And um, that's got to be like the biggest torture going, quite honestly. The biggest torture going. It's really, really sad that um, these medications you probably can't even see me from that angle. Um, these medications do that to people, you know. It's really sad. Because they kind of should never have given me it. Kind of. You know, I, f I feel like if I'd... If I'd... If I'd been looked after... When I was ill... I could have recovered. But they just plop me on medication, you know... And say goodbye and then push you out the door... Is what they did. Which obviously extended my illness several years. You know, and I've still got it. It's only when I heal myself that people will accept me enough to want to heal me. They won't heal me until I'm better, pretty much, is what I'm saying. They won't heal me till I'm better. Which is fucking just makes me want to punch someone, you know what I mean? It's, this world is like evil. Completely evil. It really is. Completely evil. Mm. 
I feel like I felt when I was at uni, you know, psychotic. I, she, the nurse I was seeing was a bit of a toss pot, you know, facts. But um, she said I had psychotic depression. And for some reason they wanted to get me off Risperidone and onto Olanzapine when Olanzapine was a drug I couldn't tolerate. You know, they treated me like shit. They treated me, right? Like I hadn't got a fucking mind. And they always do. That's always how they treat mentally ill people. Like they haven't got a fucking mind. You know. They just weren't open enough to me to explain to them, look, I can't take this shit. It's it's too fucking rough on me. It was producing too much acetylcholine and some antipsychotics do that for different people and for different antipsychotics they do it for different people. You know. And that one did it for me. I couldn't go near it. But they were so fucking stupid fuckheads that um, they wouldn't listen to a mentally ill person because of the mental illness. But listen, bitches... You're trying to heal the mental illness. So it'd best be listening to that mentally ill person, you know what I mean? You can't heal heal the illness without healing the person. I think the two are separate things. Fuck the person, you know, and heal the illness. That's what they're doing. Fuck the person and heal the illness. But, like, we don't fucking give a shit about you. But we're going to heal you anyway, sort of thing. Sort of attitude, for real, man. Back in 2006. Fuck you, but we're going to heal you anyway. Fucking bad it was. It was only 12 years ago. How things have changed, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you later.